CAT grade control for hydraulic excavators provides the operator with an in-cab reference for distance to grade and controls to set depth and slopes for excavation. This video will demonstrate basic operation for using the laser reference. Usage of any laser system depends on proper positioning and accuracy of the laser signal. There is a video available for laser transmitter setup. There are two methods for using the laser reference. One, benching from a known point and then using the laser as a reference across the work area. And two, using the height of the laser signal directly to measure distance to a desired grade. To create a level grade using a known elevation and a laser reference, set the transmitter at any height within range of the laser catcher. Bench the machine on a known elevation and set the target depth. Dig down to that target depth. Before moving the undercarriage, pass the laser catcher through the laser signal. A message appears for Accept Laser. Within three seconds, press the corresponding button on the display, or use the left trigger and the left button to accept the laser reference. The benched icon changes to Laser Referenced. The right light bar will help you to locate the laser signal. The laser catcher requires two strikes of the laser signal. For a 600 RPM transmitter, this means the vertical speed of the catcher must be less than 5 inches per second or 125 millimeters per second to ensure there is an acceptable position. Move the machine when needed. Dig down to a depth just above grade. When the right light bar notifies the catcher is passing through the laser signal, accept the new laser referenced position before completing the final grading passes. Referencing the laser at the new machine location updates the grade control for any variation in undercarriage elevation. To create a level grade using a distance from the laser signal, it is necessary to measure the transmitter height relative to the desired grade. Clear any existing benchmarks using the display or the joystick controls. Pass the laser catcher through the signal and accept the laser strike. The benchmark icon changes to Depth from Laser. Enter the depth to grade. This is the measured height of the laser transmitter plus the depth to grade from the same known elevation point. As before, Recapture the laser when the machine changes location or when undercarriage elevation changes. To create a sloping trench using the known elevation and a laser reference, the slope direction for the laser transmitter and the trench must be parallel. Set identical slopes on both the machine and the laser transmitter. For a sloping trench, the reference point must be in the center line of the trench. Rotation of the machine is not measured, so the depth to grade is only correct on that center line. The machine must also be in that parallel direction when the laser is captured for the laser reference to be correct. When the machine is rotated off of center line, the laser catcher is moved up or down slope from the correct elevation. It is advised to check the grade after initial setup. To create a sloping trench using distance from the laser signal, follow the same steps as used for the level grade method of distance from laser signal. The laser transmitter slope direction must be parallel and the reference is captured when the machine is centered on the slope. There is an additional video for using an optional heading sensor that allows for capturing a laser signal when the heading is not parallel. For full instructions, Please read the Operations and Maintenance Manual.